My name is Sydney. For as long as I can remember, I've lived in a small concrete pit with dozens of other crocodiles. I've never known my mum. Our pen was dark and crowded, and our pool of water was often murky and filled with poop. There was no room to swim or play. Everyone was agitated and stressed from being crammed so closely together. When we got injured or sick, no one took care of us. Then I was moved to a tiny pen, all alone. I was so uncomfortable, but they said being kept away from other crocodiles would make my skin more valuable. One day, some humans cornered me and tied ropes tightly around my mouth. They shocked me with an electric prod. I saw my friend's body shake as they shocked her too. They took my friend and me into another building. The smell was terrible and everything was dripping with blood. I was terrified. The human cut into my friend's neck and rammed a rod up into her head. She was alive the entire time. I could see and feel everything, but I couldn't help her because the electric shock had paralyzed me. As the humans approached me, I heard one of them say that it would take three or more of us crocodiles to make just one expensive bag. Every item made out of our skin comes with a high price. Our lives and the viruses that can originate in our dirty pens could cause the next pandemic. Let us be free and keep our skin for everyone's sake. Never buy shoes, belts, bags, or any other accessories made from the skins of wild animals.